What's going on everyone, Tech Me Out here and I'm back again with the best free Android apps. So everything I'm covering in the video is gonna be listed down below for you in the description box. I've done videos like this before, so if you happen to miss them, I'm gonna annotate them in the top of this video and also down below in the description box. Now, if you're not an Android person and you're more of an iPhone person, I do also have some iPhone apps coming for you this week. So if you're not already subscribed, be sure to go ahead and do so right now. That way you are updated as soon as that video drops. But if you're excited about today's lineup, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And without any further ado, let's talk. All right, so the first app I have on the list is one called Fingerprint Quick Actions. And what it does is it lets you perform a quick action via a tap or a swipe on your fingerprint sensor. So for example, what I have mine set as is that if I swipe down on the fingerprint reader, it's gonna pull down my notification center. But you can set yours to do a number of different things. So going into the app here, you can see that you can turn the app on or off, but you also have the option to make it do a certain action if you tap on it so that it, either expand your quick settings, or it'll toggle split screen, show your power menu, recent apps, any of these options here in which you see. And that's if you tap it. And then you can also set it so that if you swipe on it instead, it performs another action. So you can swipe or tap on your fingerprint reader and get it to do one of these things that you see here on the list. Now you do also have this experimental option where you can double tap and it'll do something, but I haven't quite played with that one yet to see how it performs, but something that you can check out if you want because the app is free. Next up on the list is Newton. And this is the mail client that I have migrated to on pretty much all of my devices from my iPhone to my Galaxy to my Mac. Everything has Newton on it and that's what I use to access my mail accounts. So I really like Newton, one for the layout. I mean, it's very clean and minimalistic, so it gives you everything that you need at a glance and not a bunch of extra stuff that you'll never utilize. So when you're reviewing a mail, you have your quick action to favorite it, archive it, move it to a folder, delete it, but all of that can be customized in your settings in the event that you don't like the layout so you can make it more conducive to what you need it to be. You also have the option to snooze emails in the event you don't have time to handle that particular email at that moment and you wanna to get to it later. You can even lock down the application. That way when you open the app, it requires a password, therefore locking down all of your accounts with that one password. You also have the option to create customized signatures per email account. And it is also HTML enabled if you need that. Plus it also has this really neat function that's gonna allow you to get read receipts so you can actually get the read status for every email in which you send. You also have the option to schedule emails to be sent later and have them delivered to the recipient's inbox exactly when you need it to be. And I found it really unique that you can actually see the sender profiles. It seems to kind of look at their, you know, LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter profile to give you this information. So there's a ton of stuff you can do, way more than I can actually explain in this video, but it's definitely worth checking out. Next up, we have Insta Downloader. So this is going to allow you to download videos from Instagram. Now the neat thing here is not only will it download the video, but it's also gonna keep the profile in which you got the video from. So it's almost like it archives everything. So all you have to do is first fire up the application. You're gonna go to Instagram, find a video in which you wanna download, and I'm gonna use Yes I Am Pretty V's profile. She's hilarious. But let's say I wanted to save one of her videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first tap on it. And then after I tap on it, I'm gonna hit the little share icon up here. And then one of the options that I have is copy share URL. And then it tells me that it's been copied to my clipboard. And I also get a notification that it is now saved in Insta Downloader. So once I get into Insta Downloader, I can then see the video here. So from here, once you tap on it, you'll see that it actually keeps the profile, like I said, and you can save it to your gallery, which is basically gonna archive it. Or you can just simply select it and share the video with your friends. Next up, I have snap swipe drawer. So basically how this works is I can go up here to my staff status bar and I have set mine so that when I swipe down from the top right corner, a few of my selected widgets and apps in which I have enabled in here. So I always have quick access to these. So you can configure this with the little gear icon up here in the top right corner. So the free version is gonna allow you to add four different items in here. So if you want more than that, you gotta get the pro version. So let me remove one of these so I can show you what I mean. So. Once I hit this plus symbol here, you'll see that I have the option to explore my widgets or my apps so that it's always accessible when I swipe down in the top right corner. You can even hit these three dots up here to get more options within preferences, such as what area of your status bar you want to activate to enable this. 
and a ton of other things in which you can customize and how this particular application will work for you. Coming in next, we have Resplash. So this is a wallpaper app that has the most beautiful wallpapers I have seen. They're just so different and unique and just eye-catching. So you have three tabs within here, your feature tab, which is gonna show you some wallpapers which are currently trending, your new tab, which is gonna show you, of course, new wallpapers which just got added. Then you have collections, which are basically your categories of photos, and there are a ton, and I do mean a ton of categories in which you can explore. So what you can do when you see one in which you like is simply tap on it. And after you tap on it, it's gonna give you some information about it. You can hit this arrow down here in the bottom right, which is gonna reveal the option to go ahead and set it as a wallpaper or download it to your phone so that you can set it as a wallpaper later. But definitely a very nice wallpaper app that I highly encourage you all to check out because the selection is just that gorgeous. Coming in next, we have Shortcutters. So what this does is give you some more quick toggles that you normally wouldn't see, such as the option here, which I can adjust how fast my screen times out. So once you're in the app, you can toggle different things on and off so that they are an option to add as a tile within that toggle view. So after you go into Shortcutter and you turn on the options in which you wanna see with in your toggle view. When you go back into your toggle view and you start to configure things in which you see there, you'll notice that you now have a couple of options to choose from that you didn't have before. And that's because of Shortcutter. So now you can add those things into your quick toggle view to have quicker access to what you need to do. And while we're speaking of quick access, I also have another one in here installed called Volume Notification. So now that I'm in my notification view here, you'll see that I have three icons. So I can just tap on this music symbol here and go ahead and adjust the volume for my media. I can tap on the phone and quickly adjust the volume for my phone, or I can tap on the little bell here and quickly adjust the volume for my ringtone. But if you would rather have quick access to other options, you can do so from within the app itself, where you can then come and customize which things you would then like to see from within your notification drawer. So in my case, I just really want a quick access to those three things, but you do have the option to come in here and tap on one of these other items and adjust it so that you can have quick access then to your alarm, notifications, system, or your Bluetooth. Another app that I'm enjoying right now is this one called Lookup. So what happens is when you're on the internet and you don't know a word, you can actually just long press on the word and then select the three dots here and then select Lookup and it will actually give you the definition of it. Now this is a feature that I was used to having on my iPhone and then I found it really cool that you can actually tap on this little speaker icon and she will say the word just in case you don't know how to pronounce it. You also have the option from within the app to see the history of all the words in which you have looked up. And if you happen to need a definition on the fly, you can just shake your phone and after a slight delay, <laughs> it will actually pull up a screen in which you can type in the word in which you're looking for. Now this next app up here that I have for you is a very unique calendar option called CloudCal. So one thing I really like about it is that it gives you the option to see your availability in an instant. So you get these kind of like magic circles that are gonna transform days of the month on your calendar into like clock faces. So just with a quick glance, you'll be able to see the hours in which you're free and which you're busy. So colors on my calendar signify different things from like personal events onto work-related events onto appointments. So I can kind of get a glance at things by just simply looking at the color of the circle. Then you also have a ton of options in terms of what view you wanna use. And you don't even have to tap to get to these different views. You can actually just swipe on your screen to alternate between them. And then you have tasks. So you can add tasks in here to integrate into your calendar application of things that you need to get done. And then it's really easy to add an event by simply hitting on the plus symbol here in the bottom right, which gives you a ton of options of things in which you can add to your calendar. So if you're in the market for a new calendar app, this one might be your next one. Now, of course, I gotta give you all a game to enjoy so what I have for you is Beat Racer. Now the graphics on this thing are like remarkable, so it gets points alone for that. Now the really unique thing about this particular game is that this little space hovercraft airplane thingy is actually what you're driving and you swipe left and right to collect beats that actually play in time with the background music in which you're hearing of the game. So you're gonna swipe up to avoid obstacles 
And then once your enemies are behind you, if you're in line with them and you have enough beats collected, you're gonna swipe down to take them out. But I kind of found it really neat and engaging and I caught myself smiling as I was playing this because as you're collecting these beats, it's actually matching to the beat of the music. So you're kind of collecting beats to finish playing the song kind of thing. But it's really neat nonetheless and a different concept to that kind of Temple Run style game. And like everything else on the list, it's free and listed down below. Golly, oh my God. So that does sum up the list for today, but before you leave, I am running a giveaway. The time is winding down for the giveaway to end, but what I did was team up with Eufy to give away one of their wireless home vacs. I recently reviewed it in my best home tech video. Pretty much is a very lightweight vacuum that you can use without a cord. And it's actually more advantageous than you might think to use a vacuum like this that doesn't require a cord and is so compact. But to find out more about it, check the video link that I'll have down below for you in the description box. I'll also link the product in the event you wanna check it out. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.